here we are at the tail end of another exciting day with the twin otter back there folks very very exciting day got a chance to do all kinds of neat stuff today and uh well i've got another video coming up after the events of today so if you want to see exactly what led up to a soaking wet spectrum dsm shirt and a cool towel and uh me being a little winded stick around because that video is coming up <laughs> Hey friends, Dave here with Creative Drones on the Dave It Yourself channel. Today I'm out here at a newly constructed subdivision, which is unfinished. Absolutely beautiful out here. Look at how green it is. Ah, oh, it's so great. There's a break in the clouds. It's been raining all day yesterday, horribly here in Georgia. Today it's supposed to be coming back, but for some reason this wasn't supposed to be here today. But since it is, so am I. So today I've got the Twin Otter. Loaded up with more cameras and a little extra stuff I'll show you here in a second. And then I have the unique Breeze drone. When it comes to drones, I am a unique fan. I have the Breeze, the Typhoon Q500 4K, as well as the Typhoon H. So you'll be seeing all those here on the channel if you haven't already. And today I've got the Twin Otter loaded up with a little extra stuff. As you can see, I have the Insta360 Go mounted on top there. Also did a little custom button for the screw in the back there, as you can see. I uh, have FPV on the front, also have some decals, kind of give it a uh, commercial style appearance, even though that doesn't match any actual commercial styles. Um, so anyway, and then also have the Runcam 2 rear facing mounted underneath the nose there. And uh, so we should be good to go with all these camera angles. Hopefully this will work out. Going to be uh, practicing the drone flying with my son Hunter today. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get some decent footage with that. This will be his first practicing with that, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm sure it'll get better as we go along. And uh, as I was, uh, you know, researching the Twin Otter, as you do, of course, when you buy cool planes, I noticed, uh, found out that this particular plane is the one that uh, a lot of skydive companies use. A lot of skydivers jump out of this type of plane. And uh, even on this particular plane, it does have a mock-up for the dive doors there. So... In a dave-it-yourself way, I am going to actually turn that into a mechanical door, which will actually eject the parachute, guys. <laughs> so excited. I can't wait to do that. Uh, oh, God, I'm a big dork. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, if you want to see how this thing flies today, we've got a pretty decent wind. It is around the uh, 8 to 10 mile an hour range, gusting from uh, 14 to 18, it said. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And it does seem to be changing right now. It's kind of coming from my back left shoulder, but sometimes it comes from my back right shoulder here so we'll see how this goes uh but anyway so you want to see how that all goes see how these two things fly together and see how much we can actually capture well, i recommend you stick around because this ought to be fun got the unique breeze drone with the uh controller on it i don't use a controller a lot but found it the other day so we're using it it's basically like a Xbox or a PS3 controller. Okay, so go ahead and hit yes there, and then just bring her on over. Just quick, yeah. See if that does it. There it goes. All right, there we go. Hello, Twin Otter. Got them all cameraed up there. Done some little customizations with him here. 
bottle cup with the panel lines showed you in the other video also put some star decals on there kind of give it a commercial plain look and as far as cameras go I got the insta 360 go up there have a run cam too on the bottom here and also facing rearward and also have the FPV don't have a DVR for the FPV that's just more for me to see how it looks All right, so Hunter's about to launch the Breeze drone. All right, sir. Give her a launch. All right. Nice. All right. Let's work, bring the old twin otter over. Get that little Insta360 go working. Auto cut. He is practicing with this drone, so I normally do all these videos myself, so anytime I get somebody that's interested in helping me film, I give them fun ways to do so. All right, I'm getting ready to take off. There you go. Here. We go. Whoa, windy out there. Choppy up there, boy. All right, here it comes, nice and slow. Looking good. Try to head up to that cloud. Thank <laughs> you. 
हाँ So let me take him on up, and we'll all have him land coming from behind us. Not the best of landings, but... <laughs> Some That's okay. That's it's all practice. No worries. I got a few batteries. You got a few. We're good. Got two umbrellas and a bungee cord. All right, buddy, you ready? All right, I'm in. High rates and everything. Flaps off, throttle cut off. Here we go. <laughs> that was a little sketchy.
thoát ra and slow. I'll rot her around so I don't tip stall here. Like he's coming down. I'll try to fly by low for you. One more time. One minute left. Time to bring him in for a landing. The same way I did last time. Actually, you know what? Let me come up the street. Let me try this. I'll take it, folks. Whoa, watch this manhole. Nice. Nice. That was a little, that was a little cross sideways landing, but I'll take it. Good job, Twin Otter. Good job. So until next time, there's the Twin Otter flying around in some uh, heavy winds here, folks. New location. Oh, at least we got some extra drone footage. Thanks to Hunter. And, uh, well, I guess we'll be back out here again sometime soon. So, until next time, I am Dave. That is the Twin Otter. And we are out of here.
All right, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no doubt. Good practice. Taxing the twin otters. <laughs> Hello. Alright, let's try this Oh, funny. Another one for the blooper reel, folks. Hey, friends, it's Dave here. Coming back to you here from, uh, well, I'm actually uh, in my vehicle right now, heading to uh, try to squeeze in another adventure with the twin otter back there that you see. Uh, I'm trying to get to the uh, new flying place that we flew at today which you'll see in this video um, and uh, see if I can do some flying right at dusk here when the sun dips below the uh, horizon so uh, if you want to see how that works out and how this video turned out stick around and in true David yourself style I have my DX8 working overtime today folks <laughs> got it controlling the plane I have it filming the plane and I have it also capturing the FPV <laughs> so there's another David Yourself original. Oh yeah, came here right when I wanted to get here. Look at that sun. Right when I wanted to get here. Yeah, that's right. The sun's looking awesome. Yeah, well, we'll go down this way. Okay. All right, friends. Here, let's see. High rates. All right, here we go.
I'll take that baby. Yay. I do like the Spectrum controllers. The one thing I don't like is the price on their boxes. So you know how you make a DX8 controller super cheap? You go to Bass Pro Shops and you buy yourself an ammo box. Five bucks. <laughs> and then you put some stickers on it. <laughs> and that bad boy fits perfectly in there. A little extra foam that I recycled from something else. So there you go. Ah.